Namaste sir. My name is Chinmaya. I am studying in 10th standard in Sambida. The title of our research project is Estimation of Oxalate Content in Various Food Supplements and FTIR Analysis of Kidney Stones. Kidney stones or nephrolithiasis is one of the most common urological diseases in Asia. Its prevalence has been ranging from 7 to 13 percent in North America, 5 to 9 percent in Europe and 1 to 5 percent in Asia. Of the many types of kidney stones, calcium oxalate kidney stones are the most common ones. They can be extremely painful and potentially dangerous and are one of the most frequent causes for surgical admission. The term oxaluria was introduced to describe the excessive presence of calcium and oxalic acid in a patient. Because there is more oxalic acid, more oxalate ions are present. The oxalate ions bond with the calcium ions to form calcium oxalate crystals which then become the kidney stones. The purpose of our research is to list the various food supplements that are not suitable for calcium oxalate kidney stone patients and estimate the amount of oxalic acid present in them. Also, we will analyze the chemical composition of various kidney stones via Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy. The main symptoms of kidney stones are fever, dizziness, stomach pain, vomiting, blood in urine and backache. As you can see here, a kidney stone can be present in the various areas like the kidney, ureter or even the bladder. The main, type of, main types of kidney stones are calcium stones, uric acid stones, tuoid stones and cysteine stones. Of these, calcium stones are most common and comprise about 80% of all the stones. Here is a graph from a Nature Review article in US. This shows the occurrence of various kidney stones. As you can see here, the most common kidney stone is calcium oxalate kidney stone. This is the literature work review that we did before starting our project. We are planning to conduct our project in mainly in three parts, field work, lab work and homework. So before starting lab work, we are going to interact with nephrologists and kidney stone patients to get a better understanding of the kidney stone disease. Then from the data we have collected, we are going to list out the various food supplements that are not suitable for kidney stone patients and estimate the amount of oxalic acid present in them via titration with potassium permanganate and also cross check the results using UV visible spectroscopy technique. From the beginning of this project, we have been doing many activities at home and watching animated videos, doing exercises and reviewing literature so that we get a better grasp of the concept. The second part of our research is Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy analysis of kidney stones. For this, these two kidney stones were given by patients for us to analyze. This is kidney stone one. This is highly porous, soft and spherical in nature. It has a diameter of 17 millimeter. The second kidney stone is hard, irregular in shape and has sharp edges. Its diameter is 5 millimeter. These two kidney stones along with our standard of pure oxalic acid were, se were sent for FTIR analysis. These are the three spectra that we got. From literature review, we concluded that kidney stone 1 is made of calcium oxalate and kidney stone 2 is made up of calcium oxalate and uric acid. In the future, we plan to, we are learning redox titration methods and techniques involved in UV visible spectroscopy so that we can extract pulp from many more food supplements and estimate the amount of oxalic acid present in them. So this data will be helpful for patients because they need to know what foods can be consumed if they have a calcium oxalate kidney stone or not.